Hey friends, it's your boy, Big TCG Fan, coming at you with another video. And today we are going to continue opening the last half of our packs for the Towers in Time trading card game. This is a really old game that the artwork is kind of not, not good. There's a couple of them that I really like. Like some of the land ones aren't too bad, but like, I don't know. I guess it's a theme thing. But oh, there's our girl Humble again. Just overall, not good artwork in my my personal opinion. Obviously, art is subjective. But I'll be surprised to find too many people who are like, yeah, that art's great. Although some of them are like, like the frog. Some of the nature ones aren't too bad. It's like, I don't know. Maybe it's the fantasy ones that really aren't working like the bodies of the dwarves are really stunted in a weird way that didn't really much like them the pirate one was cool <laughs> there's a couple of them yeah, that's a new one i think but and some of these packs are almost impossible to open it's like fighting it's never a good thing when you have to fight to get a pack open you know what i mean A buck forty-five was their retail back in the day. So and I, think I paid like 10, ten bucks, I think, for this thing. So, see what I mean about the dwarves? Their bodies are just really weird. I'm a big fan. I love dwarves, and I'm just like, <laughs> like if I were to play this game, I would definitely make a dwarf deck just because. Uh, scorpion, not too bad. Yep, there's a turtle's force. The force was good. Oh. Yeah. I think they would have helped their cause if they'd thrown in a lot more cheesecake. I think I've seen like two cards. They wouldn't even qualify. And that would be Humble, the spell, and then a Siren. Orb of Weakness. See, there's our dwarves right there. Oh, look at that. That's a, a named dwarf. You don't see too many named cards in here. I feel like I'm having to wrestle these packs just to get them open. Oh, there's a Death Knight. I don't see too many of those. Oh, there you go. Cavalry. Interesting. Yeah, the L. So the dwarves are, appear to be all dark green. Yeah, he's a death dealer. He didn't look that deathly dealing to me. I don't think that's a rare. <laughs> it's funny. You open it up and there's two of the same card right after another. Up oh, there's your named elf. Sea nymph. Hey, there's close to cheesecake as we're going to get from this. Actually, really like that artwork. It's nice. Up oh, there's our eagle. I like that. Yeah, the animals. Up, oh, see, there's more Norse. Not very many Norse, but. There's a few. Kill. Oh, I'm surprised it's dark green. I have a feeling the lands you played it. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this was a knockoff of magic. Oh, there's a crown. Wouldn't be surprised at all. Well, 
Dwarven Rifleman. Some shoes. Dwarf catapult. Nice. Catapults are good, okay. That's ah, more Norse Raiders. They're right in after each other. Oh, this one's dual land. Look at that. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's. I'm really getting that this is a knockoff of Magic vibe. How about you guys? Doesn't it feel... Oh, there's another dual land. There's another one. Nice. Interesting. It's even got dual lands. Yeah, I don't remember seeing any of those in the first pack, but maybe I wasn't paying that much attention to the, the land cards all that much. There's another one. I think there definitely was, but... It makes sense, though. The mountain is half earth and half a forest or green or whatever that is. Giving an earth vibe and then half air. Because, you know, higher up you get oh, barbarian thralls. More air you can get, I guess. Although the air is actually thinner the higher up you go. But... Who am I to question there? Their logic, right? The great strategist. Oh, yeah. Forest, water, and... I like the water, the water background there. It's kind of cool looking. Definitely cool looking. Oh, dual land right off the start. Uh, I'm not so sure they're all that rare, but I guess it makes sense because, you know, you're trying to get people to play the game. I mean, for God's sakes. Black lotuses were just rares. And yet now look at them. And then dual lands. This game didn't pop off. So these dual lands are now worth virtually nothing. I probably couldn't even give it away. But it's okay. Coming down to the last few packs here. Oh, another dual land. Hot spring. Hot and water. Nice. Thunderhead, oh, there you go. Bam. A desert. Valley. Down to the last three packs, ladies and gents. Let's see what we got in here. The Orb of Vimar. Oh, another dual land. But if you're doing this, a mono, a dwarf deck, it looks like you only need one color. Oh, I didn't see too much. That's an iron golem. Okay. Last pack. You know what, though? I wouldn't be surprised if this game's kind of like Ultimate Combat, where it just didn't pop off, and the artwork is a little corny, but it's actually a lot of fun to play, because Ultimate Combat was a lot of fun to play. I enjoyed that game quite a bit. So there you go, guys. This concludes my video. As you've seen all 60 packs of Towers in Time, it's an interesting looking game. So this concludes my video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, share if you can. Peace out.